Hello. So because I'm unorganised and I'm shy and I don't like filming and stuff, I didn't actually film the majority of me building this wall, but a few days ago I decided to build a home wall. So I'm going to Kalamanos in April next year and I want to get fitter and stronger on the wall. And I want to build a circuit board where I can do circuits and laps for hours and not on end. Probably unlikely, but I'm going to try my best. So... Here's some spotty video coverage of me building my home wall. Some time lapses, a bit of me chatting some waffle, some sorting the shed out, cleaning and sorting the holes and stuff like this. So if you want to follow along, hope you enjoy. That being said, there still will be videos of me coming out in the future of like route setting. I've never actually set a route before, so there'll be coverage soon of me setting my first ever route. Um, adjusting them, how I pick them, how I choose them and stuff like that. Um, I'm quite excited to be honest, it's a, it's a new venture for me is this, all this filming and climbing and stuff, so it'll be good fun. And if I get enough practice in, I'm actually going to film my trip to Greece, so yeah, it should be good fun, eh? We'll see. I also want to film just to like keep a record of where I am as a climber. Um, currently climbing sport grade... Anywhere between 6B and 7A I've just got onto. Um, I don't actually know really my bouldering grade, but I would assume somewhere between V3 and V6 at a push, maybe. Um, yeah, I just want to progress, film it, have fun with it. So here's the finished product, all clean and ready to go. I just need to do one more coat on the wall and paint the blackboard ready for the roofs and stuff. So the wall's built. I just need to um, paint them again. I'll give it one more coat of paint. And then um, I need to go sort through the holes and clean the holes and the bolts because the bolts are rusty. And once they're done, I'll start setting. It's taken me like three hours to sort the shit out, but it's good to go. So what I mean by that is the shed was an absolute nightmare. I, me and Rachel just keep lots of stuff in there, mainly me actually. Um, but all my tools and wood and exercise equipment and hobbies and you name it, it were in there. Um, and loads of scrap. We've been to the tip twice. Um, we've thrown loads of stuff away and it took like three hours to empty it all out. Uh, and as you can see, I'm also burning the wood off. We had so much wood, so I figured I'd have a nice fire whilst I was doing my business with the climbing stuff. So here I am just sorting out the holes, trying to get them all face up, ready for a clean. So you're about to see that. This actually was also the first time I'd seen the holes as a one. I I'd bought the holes secondhand off, people, off Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I'd not actually seen the holes. I was Because I knew there were so many, I didn't want to get them out and put them away. So they've been in storage up until now um, to actually see them so that this was really exciting for me actually apart from cleaning them that was an absolute um, yeah I won't be doing that again let's say that So today I got loads done, me and Rachel um, 
emptied the shirt out, fully cleaned the shirt out. This might look, not look organised to you, but it is to us. Uh, I've got the holes here drying because we've, I've just cleaned them all, jet washed them all and sorted through them. I have a lot more holes than I thought I did. Um, I'm going to give the wall another coat because there is imperfections. But um, other than that, we'll go to tip tomorrow, tip all the rest of the stuff and then I'll get root setting. It's only taken me five days, I think. I'll get some shots and you can uh, you can see the bits. Ooh, look, a fancy transition. Well, this is a finished thing, the holes are drying. I need to do one more coat on the wall, which I've said a million times already. And now this. I'm also going to turn this spot into, uh, I'm going to paint it either white or black. And here we go, finally the paint. I really couldn't be bothered doing the extra coat of paint, however, I'm so glad I did it. It's a lot more glossier on the third coat. There is no like bits of wood showing through or anything like that. Everything's coated properly. Um, and yeah, it just looks so much better. And the rubber rubs off a lot more easily than it would have just with two coats. So yeah, it looks mint. transition see ya so it's the next day the walls finished so the third coat I've just um, coated the blackboard so that's drying not only the second coat all the holes are clean and dry um, but the bolts I don't know if you can see they're second hand so they're real rusty and dirty so I'm going to run them through the drill and then um, get them all oiled up and clean so they don't stick in the wall and I just like to clean stuff and have nice things so I'm going to do that we'll see you time lapse and then we'll get some roof set well let me tell you this bit was not fun every single bolt cleaned pretty much almost anyway However, I think it did need doing. Some of the threads were absolutely awful and the more I can mitigate the, the wear on the T-nuts that are inside the, back, inside the wall, the happier I'll be. So this took a very, very long time, but I think it's a job worth doing and a job well done, I'd say. Um, don't worry though, climbing's coming up. Right, so I've got 14 of these. Slow first out of all the holes. And on my first route, I'm gonna try and do one of these. Never set a route before. So, um, should be fun, I guess. So first root set, use the grey slope as I said before. So it starts down there, one foot, or both feet match, left and right hands, over here, onto these. So you go up here and then down to this one, because um, this move, that move is way too big. So hopefully this works out, I'm going to try it in a sec. And it's a match up there. Oh, double hands anyway. There's 14 holes being used, only three feet. So I've used that foot, that foot, that foot, and that foot. This is actually a handhold, so we'll see how it goes. 
I'll give it a try. So I've just chopped the holes up. I suspect they might spin because I've not put the, the screws in the side. I'm going to get the shoes on. So I've got to go to dinner now. We're going out for tea to a Turkish place. I did it off camera, but I did uh, not the full boulder, just this section. Uh, found a little bit to, and I've changed the foothold down here. Where is it? There we go. Um, I'll give it a couple more tries tomorrow. First boulder I've ever set. Can't even do it. See you tomorrow. First thing to know, I left that audio on for the last clip just because I think my breathing sounds absolutely hilarious. Um, and also on this clip, I'm not sure what's happened, but apparently I've set a red route as well as a pink route. Um, I do not remember setting the red route without filming, but it turns out I did. So there you go. Uh, the pink route is fully set, as you can see, this is my first or second attempt at doing a full round loop. Uh, I really like this route, I've only done it like two or three times um, but I hope to get many more laps in on it in the future. The grey route is still uh, undefeated, I kind of give up um, but I will be working out some more beta for it today or tomorrow. That's it folks, hope you enjoyed, ready for episode two, see you later.